What's the deal, my people? You know what it is, Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And this one is huge breaking news. Straight up confirmed that Arya Stark, Macy Williams, was supposed to die in season seven. What does that mean for the rest of the show? Well, I'm going to explain that to you right now. What up to all my thugs, nerds, freaks, and geeks? You're now rocking with the best of Don Tony Teflon. And if you can, please subscribe. It's free. What are you waiting for? Also, hit that thumbs up and make sure when you do subscribe, you click that bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. Now, a lot of people, especially the Don, told you when Arya Stark killed the Night's King, this was not the way it was going to end in the books. I know a lot of people love Arya Stark, the character, they love Macy. I love little Macy, seeing her grow up and becoming the woman that she did as Arya Stark, the cold-blooded assassin. I loved it all, but she was not meant to kill the Night King. And a lot of people, when I said that, I got a lot of big feedback saying, oh, they have the ending. George W. R. Martin gave him everything. If it wasn't supposed to end like this, they wouldn't have ended it like this. Now, if you look at all the details, set up from the beginning dealing with the Night King, you had to know that it had to be Jon Snow and the Night King going one on one. And the fact that they didn't even allow the Night King to unsheathe his sword, the sword that they had on the cover of Entertainment Weekly, the sword they had on his back the whole time to fight Kit Harington, who they hyped up to be in this great swordsman, you knew that something fishy, or I knew something was going on from the jump. And I believe that was Dan and Dave. They seen the theories that people have crashed and came up with, and they did not want anyone to be right. They wanted to do something so totally out the box that nobody would have suspected. And who would have suspected Arya? There was no setup for this, not at all for Arya to kill the Night King. So yes, they did pull that off. No one would ever have suspected it, and no one did, and for good reason because it wasn't supposed to happen. There was no setup, there was nothing. It was just a straight plot hole. They just pulled themselves out of it and said, hey, we're gonna do something no one's gonna think of. What's that? Arya's gonna kill a Night King. Woo, that's a great idea. Let's go with it. And that's how it went. That's not what they got from George Double R. Martin. He did not give them that. And now we have 100% proof of this. Ed Sheeran, on the latest episode of Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert Podcast, revealed that season seven of Game of Thrones was supposed to be Maisie Williams last as Arya Stark. Not meaning they were going to recast her, that she was supposed to be killed off in season seven. This is what Maisie was told. So throughout his career, Sheeran had a few small acting roles and his brief cameo on the first episode of Game of Thrones, seventh season became a particularly infamous moment in the show's run. Now reflecting back on his cameo as a Lannister soldier, Sheeran explained how he landed the guest appearance and admitted that the polarizing reaction to the scene wasn't the response he was looking for. He confirmed that his appearance was initially intended to be a surprise for actress Maisie Williams as she was a fan, but it was spoiled by a co-star and on-screen sister Sophie Turner. Sophie said at Comic-Con, We've got Ed Shearing on the next season, he explained, at the 55-30 minute mark of the podcast. I think Macy was like, what? Because she didn't know not to say it. For, as for his small role and how he got it, he explained that Snow Patrol frontman Gary had filmed a cameo for season 3 and was able to introduce him to the team behind the show in order to him to get his own cameo. Ed Sheeran says, and I quote, So I was in touch with the creators from 2012, I think, and then obviously they were like, this doesn't make sense, he added. But then it made sense. I feel the people's reaction to it kind of muddled my joy for doing the show at all. Sheeran explained that he was originally met Williams when she attended some of his shows in Dublin since Game of Thrones was filmed in Ireland. He also says, she always has been awesome, explained that Williams' beloved character was never meant to see an eighth season. I don't think they have written the ending yet, 
It was meant to be her last season, but it wasn't. And as a surprise for her, because it was going to be her last season, they were going to have me on. There is nothing else to say here, folks. Listen, this guy is not going to make this up. This is what it was. Arya was supposed to be killed off in season seven, seven, and for her doing such a great job all these time, they were going to give her Ed Sheeran as a cameo, as a guest for all that. So there was no supposed to be Arya fighting the Night King. There was not supposed to be Arya making love with Gendry. There was all those things that we've seen happen Arya fighting the White Walkers, Arya fighting the Whites, Arya going to Gendry and making that special blade. All that was not supposed to happen. She was supposed to be killed off in season seven point blank. So just in case you forgot, let's recap what Arya was doing in season seven. Now in season seven, we've seen Arya return to Westeros, having realized she did not want to be a part of the Faceless Men cult. Instead, she takes her new training and uses it to get back at the people on her list. She plans to make her pang for her family's death. Now, after killing the Frey family, she planned to hit Cersei, but a chance meeting with Hop Eye changes her destination, where she learns Jon Fold Snow has taken back Winterfell and rules as King of the North. Arya also runs into her wolf Nymeria on the way home. When she gets to Winterfell, Jon has already gone south, but Sansa and Bran are there, Littlefinger is there too, and he sees an opportunity to play Sansa and Arya off of each other. Thankfully, Sansa and Bran were both wise to Littlefinger's schemes, and they killed Littlefinger because of it. Now, I think that that wasn't supposed to happen. I think Littlefinger was supposed to convince Sansa to kill Arya, and then after Bran would tell her, and then when she learned the truth that Littlefinger was playing him from the beginning, then she would have killed Littlefinger. But I think she would have died at Sansa's hand because of the scheming of Littlefinger. That's how I think it was supposed to end for Arya. But instead, they changed it around and had them figure it out, had Bran use his power, they figured it out, and after that, they killed Littlefinger and then kept Arya around for season. Because the whole thing with Littlefinger, it seems strange for me from the beginning. I would have thought they would have been able to pick up on it. But the way that they had it set up, it was only Bran that revealed the whole thing. You know, it should have been Arya using the Faceless Man technique to catch Littlefinger. But instead, Sansa truly was falling for the gag. They did reveal that. So I think that's how Arya was going to die. She was going to make it back to Winterfell and Sansa would have killed her sister. But what do you think? How... How do you think Arya was supposed to die? Or do you think this is a lie? I, I don't think it's a lie. I think she was supposed to die. Because when I look at everything else, the way it transpired, could she have gotten eaten alive by Nymeria and the wolf pack? Maybe. Maybe she could have did it. Maybe she could have jumped inside of Nymeria and lived her second life in Nymeria. Now, we're talking more book stuff here. But, you know, it could be a situation like that. So, this is what it's going to be. I think in the books, Arya is not going to make it. Sad to say, I, I know a lot of people want to see her make it to the end. And obviously, oh, the Starks and everything else. She comes this faceless assassin. She makes it. I don't think that's the way it's going to play out. I, I think George R. R. Martin knows better than to make it play out like that. Because that would just be too cliche of an ending. And he's not that type of guy. So I think truly he told them Arya has to die. And she's about to die. And that's what they planned for. And that's why they booked Ed Sheeran. But somehow, some way, they didn't write the ending yet. As Ed Sheeran said. And they decided, hey, let's not kill her off. Let's have her kill the Night King. And I truly believe that was because they thought that Jon Snow killing the Night King would just not work for them. That it would just everyone would have got it and that. But that is what it was all set up to be. I guarantee in the books, this is what we're going to see. This is how it's going to go down. There's no reason to make him Rhaegar's son. There's no reason to do all these things to make him the true King of Westeros. If he is, 
if he isn't the one to kill the Night King, it just doesn't make no sense. You can't have these guys staring at each other from afar and doing all these things like that if these two guys were not going to have a sword fight in the end. And that's why, you know, you can look at my videos. I've said it before. There's a reason why he has to get the Valyrian steel armor. There's a reason why they put that in there. It's not not because this this for show because they wanted to do something. It's because this is the armor you have to wear, and it's no coincidence that it's the same color of the Targaryen. This is what it's going to be in the books. Now, listen, you could be disappointed with it. You may say, "Hey, that's easy. They shouldn't have done it like that." But in the end, this is what it's going to be, people. I promise you, this is what it's going to be. It may be too easy. It may not be what what you want, but it will not be Arya Stark with Gendry she will not marry Gendry she's not making it back she's not as we see she's not making it back I think she would have been killed by Sansa that, that that's what I think I think Sansa would have took was supposed to take her out in without a shadow of a doubt and then she would have had to live with that she would have had to live with the fact that she killed her sister that she's a kinslayer that she had her sister killed that that's what she would have had to live with and that is why she would have definitely took in little finger out in the end that that would have been it wouldn't have been the reasons that she gave oh you played my sister against my mother you did this and blah blah and my mother against her sister and all this it wouldn't have been that in the fact you played two sisters against each other and that's and that's why he would have got taken out but again you let me know in the comment section what you think do you think that Arya Stark should have died or would have died in season seven or do you think that this article is just a bunch of shit <laughs> I, don't, I think it's real i don't think she was supposed to make it but in the comment section you let me know and if you like the way i do this please thumbs up this spread this across the realm also subscribe and until next time you know who it is peace and stay sexy